So this was my biggest print that I've done so far. This was over 800 layers. I had 1100 queued up, but um, I decided to stop it at a good point, basically about 770. I got a little bit of powder that dried on the fin. And it did it in three places, which causes these lines to occur. I did a full cool down, so the vast majority of this model is fine. It's got a, probably about 100 completed uh, STLs in it, all nested together. And uh, it didn't do probably the last 25 of them. So it's actually a pretty successful run. I was hoping to get the full 1100. As you can see from like the, the felt color there, that felt's never even seen powder yet. So this is the deepest print that I've done so far. Um, overall, it did really well. There was some minor curling on the far uh, left side, and I think that's what did it. There was like a, I put a little tiny STL um, that had a little thing that would curl up, and it didn't ru ruin the print. Um, but what it would happen is it, this thing would graze over a little flap, and I think it just kind of got a little bit of molten plastic on there, and it ended up drying on the thing, unfortunately. But overall, this is this is a really good sign. I'm, you know, I did a full cool down. Like right now, it doesn't doesn't feel warm at all. Um, something I learned from the guys at 3D Camera that basically, if you if you do the cool down, well, it cools it down. But if you let it sit for another five or six hours, it'll fully cool down on the inside because this this powder acts like an insulator. And inside there, you can still have some very high temps. You pull it out, and your plastic could be um, it could be a little soft. You don't want any warping. So this has been sitting there for a long time. The full 800 layers took about 15 hours. And uh, with the cool down, it's been about 20 hours total. Um, it, it really worked out well. So aside from that little bit there, um, I think I'm all right. You know, I, I, the way I got this to work successfully is I used that uh, that model I created that allows me to find problem areas and I just made sure that all my geometry fit into the Areas that didn't do any curling now. Unfortunately this end here had just a tiny little bit so um, I still had a, a bit of a problem. So in future models I'm going to make sure just to avoid that and go an extra maybe three millimeters toward the right and all my modeling should fit into that volume uh, I'm gonna pull this out and take a look at it and see how everything worked out. Hopefully I got uh, 100 SDLs in here that are looking good. Alright, so I used a temperature of 173.9 and for us, for the taller layers I actually ended up doing 174.0 which is pretty hot and for the most part um, my prints looked great however there was one spot and basically like a maybe a two centimeter square where everything has these little layers and it was kind of hard to pull apart. Basically what's happening is the powder just got too hot and it started to melt on its own and uh, with all the laser. Now the nice thing is it's really brittle so you can just use like a dental pick and chisel away at it you know um, but uh, it just means more work and I don't want to do more work so I think for future prints I might go down a little bit and then just be careful on the edges. Um, it's a delicate balance and uh, also see if I can explore some ways of, of um, working with the bins on the infrared lights. Maybe I can get a more even distribution because I just have this one hot spot that is just too much for, um, for the whole thing. Uh, thankfully though, like the majority of the prints just look great. I mean like that's a, this is what, I haven't even really cleaned this up yet. I sort of did a brief um, brushing with a metal brush and it's already just nice, there's no layers, um, it's just really, really looking good. However, I got a, um, a hot spot that was right in here next to, there were two other parts that were in between here. It was really hard getting them apart. It's not impossible, but anyway, for next time. All right, well, with enough scraping and, you know, it cleans up. You know, here, this isn't that bad. Oh, there's a little spot I missed there. Um, the only bad part is, is unlike these other parts where just with a dental pick you can kind of rub around in there and it'll make a hole, like this tiny little hole here. Um, this hole, it just won't work. So I got a little drill bit set, I'll just hit that with a drill bit. 
Um, but that's the only downside. So if you got passageways uh, and you overheat it, they're basically fused solid. Um, unless you can get at it with a drill press. Overall, that yeah, like it's it's doable. I wasted probably 10 minutes scraping off placked up plastic on this thing, but anyway. Uh, that's not bad. Looks good. Solid. I mean, I'm using a metal brush in this thing and it doesn't even scuff it. So it's a pretty solid print. Only bad part is it had that buildup on it. Here's the output of that 800 some layer uh, job that I did the other day. Um, you know, I cleaned up some of these. I still really haven't finished totally cleaning up all of it, but it just goes to show like how much you can really nest in there. And this is one of those big um, containers. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe about a gallon container. And I cut it in half. And I mean, I just got parts on top of parts on top of parts and it just goes down. Um, I'm pretty pleased, like aside from that overheating issue, I'm gonna bring the temps down a bit and um, you know, just work on calibrating it, finding that that sort of sort of Goldilocks zone that you can get the temperatures just right, and then get the perimeter from curling, but also, um, you know, make sure you don't overheat the middle. Probably around 173.2. I think I'm gonna give that the the next shot, because um, 173.9 just was too much. Um, and also, you know, I mentioned in earlier that you couldn't get through with a dental pick but you know actually you could and it you don't necessarily need to do a, a drill press but um but yeah like some oh see so yeah like most of them did clean up it's just more work it's kind of just tougher but essentially the you know it's it's good um yeah so this is a good sign if i can get the temperature just right and then make sure that i don't have um, any curling on the outside that can catch on the on the applicator fin then i should be able to get the the next print should do the full 1100 layers and then that would actually increase my output by another 25 sdls this is about 100 sdls that i put in here um yeah this is awesome.